I'm Don with the Law Office of Don R. Dennis Jr. My office helps businesses that are involved in complex business deals. The issue is this when you sign an agreement. Are there adequate protections to help you in the event things don't go as planned? And do you comprehensively understand all the terms in the agreement? As an engineer, experienced attorney, and certified privacy professional, I've seen all types of agreements. My office's motto is engage diligence because I believe clients have the right to a responsive attorney that has the same energy for them from the beginning until the end. If you're looking for an attorney that's going to fight for you and not with you on your matter, contact my office at 213-455-0880. Hey fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Insider. I am Agil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report is about the court system of the US, how messed up it is and how biased it is towards black people. Let me tell you why. A white woman named Debbie reportedly stole over $240,000 in the space of 20 years while she was working as a clerk at the Chargan Falls Village Utilities and Building Departments. She was ultimately indicted for 22 counts by grand jury, made arrangements to refund the stolen funds. She issued a check for an outstanding balance of $100,000 when she was sentenced on Monday. She was sentenced to probation. Meanwhile, Carla Hopkins was accused of stealing $42,000 in dues and fees from students and teachers while she was employed as a secretary and executive assistant at Maple Heights High School. After she was implicated, Hopkins told the judge presiding over her case that she drained her $20,000 pension money, which was after tax, to sort out bills she owed following her dismissal. Hopkins attorney Brett Jordan said the accused has been suffering from mental health issues and gambling addictions around the period she was stealing the money. Jordan, however, said that Hopkins had sought treatment and she was on a job placement program. Jordan also added that Hopkins had managed to raise $5,000 in her efforts to refund the stolen money. She was ultimately sentenced to 18 months behind bars. These two women committed the same crime, theft. But the white lady stole $250,000. The black lady stole $45,000. But guess what? The black woman is sentenced for 18 months in prison while the white lady gets two years of probation. How does that make sense? How? First of all, the white lady stole more than the black lady. Second of all, they both committed the same crime, theft. Thirdly, they both were tried at the same court just different dates. Wow, if this is not evidence of what is going on in the courts, then I don't know what else we need in order to believe black people when they say the court system is shady. The court system is biased and the court system is sending black folks to jail and prison without remorse and on purpose. That's what it looks like. Just look at this too. How does this make sense? What's the justification for this? There's no justification whatsoever. Just imagine how many black people are serving time in prison that they should not be serving. Probation would have been enough. Apparently, at least according to this sentencing, you saw what the white lady got, you saw what the black lady got. This is mind boggling. And I'm glad they are caught and I am glad it's being highlighted because we need to talk about this. This is not fair at all. Anyways, guys, let us know down below what your thoughts are about the court system in the U.S. I am Ongil Zalal and bringing you the story. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Black women, aren't you tired of the propaganda of us being viewed as strong but not soft, masculine but not feminine, combative but not pleasant? And this is what our men are saying about us. In the black community, we were taught to be strong and educated but not soft and feminine. Get on your feminine journey and join me on YouTube at Mrs. Danielle DeVita, my podcast, Feminine Energy with Danielle DeVita, or you can just book a session by going to mymentor.life forward slash Danielle DeVita. Get on your feminine journey today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app. 
now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store. Thank you.